Hi guys, Bella Blue Ray here, bringing you a bit of Manly Beach. Bringing, bringing you a bit of healing. A bit of dolphin magic, a bit of whale energy. Lemuria, Atlantis. Sorry, I'm moving it. Isn't it pretty? I'm going to use this scene to help you connect to nature, to connect to Gaia and to unplug from the mind matrix. So when we think about ourselves as an acupuncture point, bringing life source, life source, source, life force. I'm a Reiki master, so it's all the same, but Reiki, getting the attunements down here in 3D opens you to receive more. So whoever you are, if you do Reiki, you're gonna receive more. It's that simple because it anchors it, it keeps you grounded so you can actually receive it. And then we bypass all the nasty mind tricks of the um, devil. Yep, that's where he is, he's in your mind. So people play mind games, right? You know when you're in a mind game and you're an empath because you just feel sick. It feels like there's a helmet on your head getting tighter and tighter and tighter and you can't see your way out and you can't think your way out. So then we need a miracle, don't we? So at this time in the human ascension, human evolution, we need a miracle. So we're going to ask for one right now. We're going to ask that you know, everyone who's found this video is ready. They've been telling me people need help. We can't do it on our own because of the in-programming, right, through our genetic coding and through the outside program. So we're getting programmed from the outside. But in the middle is divine Gaia and divine love and then source. And that's you. You're the acupuncture pressure point. You're the point that connects it. Right? So it connects from source to Gaia through your heart, your sacred heart. That's why Jesus has the sacred heart. And in that chamber, you can actually um, experience different dimensions, experience different consciousness. The source energy coming straight down through your energetic field or your chakras has to go. First stop is the crown. Right? So if you're not connected to source, you will feel headaches, you might get migraines, can't think straight, you get brain problems, tumors, blah, 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 because there's no source, it's cut off, it's dis-ease. We're trying to create ease. So the second step in connecting to this source is by slowing down your mind. So people go, yeah, I'm getting my guidance. It's like, how does it get past your mind? So if you thought of um, a stream of water coming down your crown and in the middle of your crown and your third eye is this massive ceiling fan and it's going 100 miles an hour. So it's cut off that life force. So it just sits in your crown. That's why you get a headache. That's why you can't think straight. That's why you're not getting your guidance, your clairvoyance, your clairsentience, your claircognizance. Sentience, cognizance, audience, and voyance. Hello, it's my worst clear, that's what I couldn't think of it. And your clairvoyance. It's my best clear, what am I talking about? Don't say that. Could be positive in our affirmations. I mean, it's my slowest clear, because we have the four cylinders of the car, remember? One clear will fire up pretty quickly. If you do Reiki or ground your energy and slow down your mind, the others three will fire up. But most people, have just one sort of half fire up. So that's why we're not getting our guidance because we're not slowing down the mind. So we're going to unplug right now from the mind matrix. I'm going to connect into the energy that you can see, the birds flying, the water. You're going to receive this energetic transmission. And we're asking that, oh, sorry, that you slow down your mind. And you can do that with the breath and intention, breath and intention. <sighs> Big deep breath. So I've been working with the um, Arcturians. Anyway, they're beings of light who are very intelligent and who are watching over us and actually come into battle with us. 
against the dark forces because we're the conduit we're the point we're the acupuncture pressure point we have to be clear there's no hope do you get it but who are you going to go to if the war is on and the acupuncture point is clearing itself wouldn't you go and attack that wouldn't you go and get that if you were of the dark side so this is why the dark side works on your mind plays tricks on your mind uh, makes you feel fear and doubt these demonic energetics right are really intelligent so they're in 4d they go into your dreams and they find your weaknesses and then they bring somebody in who will press that button immediately immediately straight away how do they think out of everything how would they know that that's my weakness right this is what we're talking about so if you don't have your guardian angel with you then you're free reign they can come in attached to your fear magnified and then bring you thought processes in your dreams of why you can't do it why you and work with your ego so I mean our ego is needed but it's not the boss and we're gonna release it today I can't wait for you to get this guidance because all you need is one drop all you need is one drop to come down through your crown and into your third eye to illuminate your path one drop you know when you put um, food coloring say you had a big swimming pool let's not go that big maybe a bathtub <laughs> I like to exaggerate you know I'm a Sag so let's just look at the bathtub and we put in some food coloring it, the whole bath goes pink because I'm always going to use pink all right or green or whatever color right just one drop so that's all we want from you today is to receive one drop of source but this fan that's stopping it connecting to your third eye has to slow down so you turn the fan off and you know it's got so much momentum that sometimes the fan just keeps going and going and going and going and you know it's going to slow down and eventually it will stop because you're going to, you're going to check is the power off because there is so much momentum in your mind, right? That people go, oh, I tried that, it didn't work. It's like, you didn't let it slow down, it's gotta stop. The momentum has to stop. And this is your first step, just for an intention to turn it off. Your intention to allow it to slow down. To just watch those thoughts really slow down now. So go over to the fan switch, which is your mind, and turn it off, to off. And let it just slow down, slow down, slow down. And let your thoughts just drift across your mind like clouds across the sky. And God, that's interesting. It's like detaching from these thoughts and just being an observer. And just allowing your thoughts to keep going, not holding on to anything, just letting it go by. Oh, look, there's another thought. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, look, I'm thinking that. No wonder I'm stressed out. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, well that's what I've been putting in my DVD in my mind no wonder that shows up on the screen so just letting the whole fan slow down as you receive this energetic transition and transition transmission because we're coming down through your crown so in any time that you do meditation or do a Reiki healing or connect to Gaia we're going to allow this fan right now to slow down enough for you to just get one drop of source. We'll give you so much guidance, so much healing. I mean, just one drop. That's all you need. Start the dripping process as the fan slows down. The energy can get through from your crown to your third eye. The more it slows down, right, it might take a while. You might need to do another big deep breath. You might need to say no to the ego. That's not more important, that thought. I do not have to get up and go and do that. Control, alt, delete, back to me. It's really hard, because your mind comes in and goes, let's go do this. It's like, yeah, I'll do that later. It's like, this is the most important thing you possibly do for yourself, right now, is to slow that mind down, is to turn that fan off, and to let the momentum slow down. Because when you've got momentum, you know, things come out of your mouth, you don't even realize, it's la 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 there's momentum going, it's all going so fast, and then if you crash into something with a lot of momentum, it's a bigger crash. Because this is the screen of your life, your mind is not going to get you where you want to go. So we're going to slow it down, we're going to re receive the life force, the source, down through your crown, and going to bathe your pineal gland. 
your pituitary gland and your hypothalamus and just bathing your brain in this pure divine light you could visualize it as crystal light coming down through a tube crystal tube down into your crown and filling you up from the inside out so letting your brain absorb this your pituitary gland get decalcified and clear and allowing all fluoride to be released from your body activating your pituitary gland because once these two glands activate when your mind slows down it does create a rainbow from your pituitary gland to your pineal gland and this rainbow is called enlightenment so it's very very exciting but how's that going to happen if your mind is in there going full speed ahead into a brick wall so it doesn't look like a brick wall but it looks like something else so this is the mind game trickster matrix of the devil of the elite of how we're ruled so we're letting all that go and I want you to keep saying it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything it's only what the meaning you put on it so if somebody is awful to you it's like it doesn't mean anything I'm just going to control or delete that I'm going to let that thought go what can I think of right now oh that's right back to me have I had anything to drink what have I eaten in the last two hours am I grounded have I ever looked in the mirror in the last five days? <laughs> Are they talking to me? <laughs> do you need to do your hair, Bella? <laughs> Sorry. So we're slowing that mind down and just getting this source so that you're, you can align with your divine life purpose and you can align with your um, guidance. So breathe in this beautiful nature setting. And just notice your mind slowing down now, really stopping that momentum and just looking for that one drop of gold and source that might be clear and just let it go through and now it starts two drops three drops and you can actually open it up and this is how we're going to go through your whole body but today we just want to unplug from this mind matrix even if you do it for 30 seconds every day and get used to this new energy right because it's not easy as soon as you make that intention to do it right then you get tested so I said something like, you know, I like TV, right, in my mind. I said, I like TV. I relax watching TV. So, you know, then I watched 17 hours because I just wanted to get through the whole of, you know, Beverly Hills Housewives. Well, the energy, right, got me so low because the vibration is the 444 megahertz fre frequency. I don't know whether it's megahertz, but it's something hertz. So it's energy, right? It's frequency. So watching that for that many hours, I got down to such a low vibration that I saw the reptilian shapeshifter in my midst, live and interactive through my clairvoyance. Hello, my clairvoyance is my weakest one. My weakest clair. I clairaudient, I hear things first. So it's like even in the tone of his voice, I knew he wasn't right. And then I would feel it, right? And then you actually, see or know it so they know that my clear cognizance is struggling because I will have to experience something before I know it you know otherwise I don't believe it so I wasn't believing in the negative energy wasn't believing in the mind matrix wasn't believing that that could not be true and then they brought it live and interactive in front of me it's like oh okay so now I can't argue with me because like I experienced that and even afterwards I was going did I really have to experience that they're like well you asked well oh, yeah I asked so I was asking, is it real? Are people really, you know, possessed by demonic spirits around me? Or is that just happening over there in Hollywood and where you go? But no, they brought it live and interactive. So as soon as you connect to source, anything that is not of source will come up. And that's where you need to be vigilant and strong and anchored in Gaia. So just allowing it to come through and clear your third eye so that you may clearly see the angels. So just a big deep breath and we're just going to actually bring that energy down through your throat chakra and into your third eye first and just clearing that and just visualizing this getting bigger and bigger. 
going from a drop to now a stream and just getting unplugged from the matrix, unplugged from the media, unplugged from your iPhone, so to speak, and coming back into nature. This is a totally different frequency. So when you're at a low frequency, you will actually attract in doubt, fear. So we're changing that over right now. And we're just going into a higher frequency. So bringing in source is that active higher frequency. And as soon as you start doing that, I don't want you to, right? So then a fear comes up. This is why you're a warrior. This is why you're a light worker. This is why you're here. And this is why you're here now. Because this mind matrix has never been so heavy and they've never had so much of the energy here on the planet and the only way they can get to you is through the mind which is the fourth dimension and also through other people who don't have their mind anchored and who don't have their consciousness and their whole soul not in their body so if you need to really that's how you feel and you want your soul back and you have suffered right you need to get that as an intention I want my soul back in my body and then they'll find you who you need because I even didn't believe that how can your soul be out of your body I don't get it so if you want to we can work with the angels to do that because fragmentation of the soul you know it doesn't feel like you're in alignment and I'm telling you by the next couple of months you need to be completely in alignment and out of the mind matrix because you're called upon by God and divine providence so let your mind just relax and now you're receiving guidance. Maybe it's something you're worried about, maybe it's something you're concerned about, maybe it's a deadline that's coming up, maybe you need more money, maybe you need to get out of a relationship and you can't see the way out, maybe you're in a job that you just feel sick going to every day because the people are just so toxic. Maybe you're just totally sick of this whole conversation you're having with your partner. Maybe you're just sick of, you know, not getting out in the sun. So big deep breath and as you receive this guidance, we ask the angels to surround you now. And we ask to place in your aura from Archangel Michael a beautiful rose. And this rose will clear any negative energy that is sent to you or any psychic attack from others, any negative thoughts. And we ask that the rose absorb it in your aura and that your mind able to stay relaxed and connect down into your heart and just slow everything down so that you may receive your guidance because you're the creator. And this is a micro energetics affecting the macro on a bigger scale than you could possibly even imagine. So just you doing this today and unplugging or setting the intention to unplug from the matrix actually helps the shift of all humanity. And for that, I salute you. We ask that your soul be integrated and that you be in full force, slowing down the mind and receiving source so that you may get your rainbow of light. We ask now Archangel Michael to come down and clear, balance and protect us. We ask the Reiki Masters continuously giving us the energy of Reiki life force. And we ask that we all find the guidance and the healers and the messages that we need for our divine life purpose and to feel love. And I wish this for you and I honor you and I love you. Namaste angels.